<laughs> you never know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Johnny Bean. It is 5.20 p.m. on the uh, Pacific Standard uh, area. Rim. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 8.20 Eastern Time, where David Nesdal is currently. Hi. Hello. Hey, man. How are y'all doing? Awesomes. Awesomes. And Brian. AKA Boner Jams. I'm here. Hey. What's up, guys? Good to meet you. What what time zone are you in? Eastern. I'm in mean, Connecticut. Okay, cool. Cool. Man, I don't know what it is. Everybody that, that's on this program is they're always Eastern time. Right. Always. It's where the music lives, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I know that. I know that. I, I I lived in Miami in Florida for a while and it was because of music. Gotcha. And it was it was an amazing time. So yeah, yeah, it's December 14th, uh 2018. There's the camera. And uh yeah, so Jay Hannon will be joining us um at some point. I think he can hear us. At some point right uh, now. <laughs> Whip it. Whoa. Hey, I came you... upstairs and I started turning the lights on and I'm like, these guys aren't live yet? No, it's, it's my fault. Clearly I'm challenged. <laughs> it's been it's been a wild uh we've been on camera for like an hour. Yeah, eventually. <clears throat> we've been on here for like an hour. You got everybody that's watching this just tuning in. So there was like an hour of like just weirdness. <laughs> yes. Only we can see that too. <laughs> um, Scott Nickerson is in here. Uh, who else? Todd, AKA Soda Pop, Ben Coombs, Guitar Hack, John Parson, James Gum. James, again, thank you very much for the uh, shoot, super, what am I saying? Super chat the other day. Uh, Dennis. Uh, Brent Z Rocks, Michael Bishop, everybody. So, what's uh, I don't know, what was that? What's going on? Nightbot, Nightbot is here to com totally take over the chat. Love me some Nightbot, straight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what's what's new? What's uh, Anybody. So, so Jay asked me to come on tonight. Wants me to unveil a new guitar, which I'll, I'll pull out shortly. You yeah, know? we gotta have a. Uh, we gotta I do it nice and slow with it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's real yeah. slow. Yeah. Real slow. <laughs> Man, I've That's got a new. Cool. I've got a new part on my fifty-one fifty guitar. I could show later. Yeah. New pieces, parts. Mm -hmm. A new string. No. Broke a string? <clears throat> Something for the string, though. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, we can talk about some, some quotes that Diamond Dave made that are being, uh, you know. As what's a up, reason. what's what? up with all that? What's up with all this stuff? People, I'm getting I mean, messages just nonstop from people. Yeah. <laughs> people saying that Wolfgang is rude. That David Lee Roth has a big mouth, which we all <laughs> know we've known since 1978. He's got a big mouth. Sure. And he's he's not dumb. I mean, he knows that whatever he says, he's not going to come out and tell you exactly what's happening. He's going to put a little bit out there and make it so like there's 30 different ways to look at what he like one sentence. There's a bunch of different ways to, you know, what does he mean this? Did he mean that? He knows what he's sure, doing. I'm sure the brothers said. Hey, open your mouth, say something, but don't say anything. Yes, yeah, say something, but don't say anything. That's perfect. Perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. I get blamed for that a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I get blamed for, what is it, uh, hearing but not listening. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah, but I'm not really... <laughs> Whatever. Diarrhea of the mouth and constipation of the brain. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Yeah. 
It's hot in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting hot because that guitar. Mm hmm. What, this one? Well, that one too. Look, we're almost twins, man. Look at that. Yeah. See? Universes, duly universes here. The yours is a cooler pick guard than mine. Definitely. I was just saying uh, the day earlier, I told you before, I want this green. Black pick guard, this green. Mm -hmm. We got to make it happen. What? Wait, wait, wait. The guitar, you want green. I want the body green. Pick guard black. That pick guard is awesome. Do you think I should go with green with this pick guard? No. No. What do you think you should do? I think green with a black pick guard. Yeah. yeah. Make it look like, like a six string gem. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Awesome. Why not do the alternate swirl of the pick guard? Like, hold it up again, Brian, please. Because because on the pick guard, I mean, it's gonna it, the paint's gonna come right off, even with clear coat. Really? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, like, swirl the guitar. <coughs> what what is more? Is it black or um, green? What's more in the pick guard? Definitely green. Where where have I I've seen that guitar before? Yeah. Yeah, at my house. Mm hmm I love when I first had it shipped to me. And I, I took it out and I sent it to Jay. So the strings, I could easily have relations underneath it. It was such <laughs> a huge <laughs> it was it was insane. And Dave was like, I did not do that. Yeah, yeah. no, I had that action was what do that cool. already? The it was super low when it was at my house. That neck <laughs> decided to have other plans when in shipping. That was insane. I was like, Jay, I don't think this looks right. Yeah, he sent me a video of it. He's like, dude, look at this is like violin action on here. It was even worse. But I, you know, for anybody out there that's played one of these older universe or universe or gems, I mean, the necks on these things are so thin that you know, Brian likes to use uh like telephone cables as his um, <laughs> as as his guitar strings. It's true. It's true. And and at my house, the guitar wasn't happy. It just was not happy with those heavy strings. And I, you know, turning the truss rod, I was like, oh my god, it, it's, it's poor guitar. It's I know crying. it hurt your soul. It was crying. The guitar was crying. And I finally got it to like where it was playable. It was playable. It was nice, but it was really heavy i mean even even tuned down as low as it was tuned down right. and it was hard it was the strings were heavy for that guitar yeah because it was tuned down one step so um standard tuning would be b you know yeah so it's a and uh, it's got that nice growl but i know that's not that's not your style well not my style to play but i mean i know how to set a guitar up to do that but right it just wasn't happy. It just wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't happy. I, I, I still to this day feel horrible about that. That's all good. Well, I, I told Brian, I was like, there's no way that Dave would have let that out of his house with, uh, no, with it looking like that. So, no, not at all. James Gum says, Dave, is there a more accurate neck to the original 5150 than what Scott Smith offers? Now, I've never played the original 5150. So I really don't know what it feels like. All I can all I can say is everyone says or Eddie says that that the Ernie Ball guitars feel like his favorite neck of the time, which was the 5150 guitar. He never actually said that it was the 5150 guitar. He just said that it was the same feel as his favorite neck. That was exactly his words. So we all we all assume that it was the fifty one fifty guitar because that's the last one he was using. Uh, and as far as your answer, uh, Scott Smith's guitar necks are, in my opinion, the closest to the Ernie Ball. I hope that answers your question. Mm -hmm. And how how much are those necks? They range. They, I guess if you were to just get a, you know, the neck in uh, rock maple with, you know, just you know, like flat sawn instead of quarter sawn and and no upgrades, I think it's about two hundred and seventy five dollars. 
you start getting, you know, with everything that you want, if you want a cortisone, it's, you know, an upgrade for that. If you want, you know, flame maple or, or bird's eye, it's an upgrade for that. Mm -hmm. If you want it, uh, uh, roasted, it's an upgrade for that, you know, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the frets like fret stainless? size you can you can order any fret size you want i think the only upgrade is if you go stainless steel right <clears throat> but if you want nickel silver you can get any fret size you want and it's the same price hmm. yeah because actually i was thinking about music craft today because you know i've got a uh, wolfgang body that needs a neck mm -hmm. and it's, it's a japanese body and so naturally, I'm thinking I need a Japanese neck, but they're almost impossible to get these days. You know, so I was thinking about music craft and like, hmm, what if I what if I ordered something that? that well, works, I know? would if I were you, I would I would contact Scott Smith personally. Mm -hmm. uh, just because you know him and he knows you and and he'll he'll direct you to the neck that you want for your guitar. Instead of just ordering one off the site, it's hmm. a good idea. Good idea. And Clayton James Hicks, 1998 Hicks. Welcome, dude. Frank, oh, must be. Yeah. <laughs> what? My oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> Clayton. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we got 79 watching. Speaking of 79, did any of you guys see the uh, the Van Halen uh, 1979 Super 8 footage that Greg Runoff tweeted out? Uh, I think it was this morning. I have not. <clears throat> no, I haven't seen it yet. It was Looking cool. forward to it, though. It was cool. Actually, I, I put it over in the... Brian, do you have one of these yet? I don't. I feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Target yesterday. I was up in Walnut Creek, and every time I'm at Target, I look for these. You know, I look. Yeah, it's funny. The up. last time I was there, I, lo I looked for it as well. I couldn't find it though. Because mm -hmm. that's that's you can find them there a lot of times. Yeah. So tell us more about the '79 video. I prefer Van Halen the '79, but tell me a little more. Oh, it was. Let me see. All I wrote down was Van Halen 79 Super 8. <laughs> Hoping that somebody else would have done their homework. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I would have done my homework if someone would have said, hey, do some homework. It's Actually, it's over in the Discord right now. <laughs> so I don't know if somebody wants to jump over there and see. It's in the Van Halen uh, photos and videos section. Um, Buffalo ne John. John BL. Thank you. Yeah, Buffalo, New York, May 9th, 79. Oh, yeah. So, John, just uh, private message one of us, and then we'll pretend like we watched it and just give us a quick, quick synopsis of it, and then we'll pretend, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like that's what producers do, right? If you have, like, a live show. We all, yeah, we should all have earbuds, and he puts it in the ears, and then we yeah. magically come up with the information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, awesome audio. Yeah, I got to watch it again because I watch I I watched uh, just the video portion. I actually I I had it on mute, you know. But because but video wise it looks cool, you know. But if the if he's John saying the audio is good, yeah, I know. We'll each have to have like like a John BL, you know, phone <laughs> in our ear. John, oh, what, this just in. John says the audio sounds good. <laughs> then I'll have to have somebody else in this ear, you know. And now you look like a puppy. <laughs> and then somebody else in this. <laughs> no, put, put another pair of headphones over the ones you have on now. Yeah. Where are like, those? Uh, yeah, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Then, okay. Yeah. Is that two sets of headphones you have on? <laughs> <laughs> and then the Johnny Bean headphones, like if I want to communicate privately with him, I just got to put these secret sunglasses on. And now we don't have to talk. We can just communicate. Hey, Dude. who's back there? 
Dude, we're twinning, man. We're twinning, I man. You, <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Hey, yeah. this isn't really what we really look like. <laughs> so wait, did you get a new set of headphones, Johnny? Um, why? You mean these? I've I've, I've had happen? these I've had these around for a little while. I I haven't used them yet. They're just Lodge Logitech Logitech phones with a little mic. I've yet to. to what he does his uh, one nine hundred spanked calls with. Yeah. <laughs> one nine hundred get spanked. <laughs> oh, you mean when they call me? Yeah. Three dollars first minute. <laughs> After that, caught the phone. Oh, that was cheap back then too. I'm just saying. Oh, was it? I'm just saying that was cheap. <clears throat> hey, I'm a little disappointed in you though tonight. Why? I'm unveiling a guitar. You got a you know, a nice Christmas gift a little early this year. You're not even rocking it for me, dude. It's, it's hot. I don't care. It's hot in this room right now. I want. I was gonna wear what it. Kind of Christmas kiss did kiss. kiss did <laughs> I gave him a lot of Christmas gifts. Christmas gift. Christmas kiss. Gift. <laughs> Hold on. I'll go get it. I'll show it off. It's it's downstairs on my bar stool, waiting to be put on, but. Go get it. I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'll be right back. Go with no shirt. <laughs> oh. So um, Jay's getting a little gift. Uh, Jay and I have been – Jay's one of my best friends. Um, long time I've known Jay, about 12 years now. And uh, so once in a while I'll see something that I think you'll like. I'll send it to him. We're both big Bear fans, so we swear at each other all Sunday. It's fun. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. what's actually brian brian right what yeah. what's your uh what's your background real quick like what do you uh adult films um <laughs> you knew that was common <laughs> <laughs> no hold um, on brian brian answer I this like question take long walks on the beach yeah answer this question like you're uh doing one of those videos for like a dating site okay brian <laughs> hi i'm brian i have blue eyes like long walks on the beach I'm a professional. I'm, I don't know what I am, honestly. Um, my background, I, I'm a State Farm agent in good old East Hartford, Connecticut. Um, some of my employees might be watching right now. So, hey, guys, love you. And, um, yeah, um, State Farm agent, have three kids. You might see them from time to time tonight creeping around. Uh, well, two of them, one of them is a And uh, I don't know. I don't really have much... That's my background. I'm I'm pretty boring. And that's oh, Brody. Look out behind you! Ah, oh. Brody uh, got his name from Mall Rats. One hundred seventeen. So, Snoochie Boochies. Right on. Hey, hello from California, man. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice you to meet you too. More? Yeah, we we watch you a lot. Oh, cool. Did you laugh at us? Bro Brody, who's your favorite? Jay. <laughs> see, see, see what 10 bucks gets you? <laughs> Uncle Jay. <laughs> Hi, buddy. He's too busy playing Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, what word I got? Wait, oh, he's, he's playing Fortnite right now? Yes, he is. Mm hmm. That means he's got way more viewers than we do. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's just, you might be streaming, too. Uh-huh. So that's why well, the internet quality's going down? <laughs> he's got, like, 20,000 people watching him right now play that game. Probably. There it is. So <laughs> what happened was, a couple of weeks ago, I'm looking on um, Fans Edge. I get emails every once in a while, like, you know, check out our new items or whatever. So this is kind of like a... Um, I almost call it like a hockey style football jersey. That's how I would kind of explain this to somebody. So I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that thing is awesome. So I clicked the link and I sent it to Brian. I was like, dude, this thing is cool. He's like, yeah, it is. And next thing you know, a couple days go by, I get a I get a package in the mail. A pretty big package, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's it's this thing. And freaking Brian was awesome to send it to me. That's how much he loves me. It's true. But, Brian, I have to say something. Okay. Ever since I, I, I received this, 
Trubisky has thrown two touchdown passes to five interceptions, and he would miss two games because of injury. <laughs> so I'm like, oh no. I just did we put the hex on him. I did. It's like it's Malikia, hot, man. man. It's called a Maloikia. Maloikia. Well, unmaloiki him. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna put this back here. Actually, I can't do that. I put it here. I feel like we should like, distribute some Johnny Bean T-shirts, like Oprah. One for you. You all have them. One for you. One for you. One for you. Chase Daniel sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good idea about the t-shirts. That's Yeah, I think that will be uh will be happening. Stefan, huh? Stefan is sending me messages. I think he wants to send us pictures of a, a guitar or something. Um So what? Did is you it 80 people watching? Is it time to open a guitar? <laughs> Might be. Yeah, let's do it, man. Jonathan, are you here? I grab it. Dude, I was—I think. Look at that. that. That the thing's nice too. Did you show that yet? <laughs> oh, the guitar. You're right. talking about the guitar, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <coughs> I, I, what, what is it with I, with Ibanez is sent in Gibson boxes lately? Yeah, what's up with that? Mine was sent the same way. Or anybody else's pants That's getting awesome. tight right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, live unboxing. There we go. Presenting. Are you guys scared? You nervous? You excited? I think I'm more excited than you are. How many times did I text uh -oh. you? You do hacking when's it coming? Oh, not again. We had Max Headroom again. Oh, like that? You got a case. <laughs> Am I still glitchy, Johnny? No. No, you're, you're good. Okay. <laughs> oh, Brendan Butchik said a stroke. Yeah. Oh, Brendan, you should have heard him earlier, man. Oh. It was Max Hedrum, actually. Yeah, that's a nice case. Yeah, man, the old school Ibanez case. That's the right case. Yeah. Look at that thing, man. So wait, so real quick, what's the story behind this guitar? Like, what's okay? Jay, yeah, you do it. Dave, well, Dave started off. I have a friend that works at Sam Ash that has a lot of Ibanez guitars, all first generation Ibanez guitars. Uh, and he's going through some hard times, so he's selling off a few of them. And uh, I have one of them, the, the, the Red Beach. And uh, this one came up for sale. And, and Brian, first Jay said he was interested in it. And then, uh, uh, then Brian said he was interested in it. And they battled it out, and Brian won. And there it is. Oh, my God. There it we is. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, touch it slowly. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty amazing. How does it feel? Amazing. Like, has this ever been played? Oh, probably my God. Not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot my no, – I can't say that either. Oh. Um, probably I'm gonna, not. I'm going to regret Did you this. notice the signature on the back of the guitar? Jay Hannon? No. <laughs> Paul Gilbert? Jay yeah. Hannon regrets – Everything in in his life right now. Wow, that's signed too. Yep. Oh, look at that. Corky from my design. No, Paul Gilbert. Corky. Is that what you said? Oh, wow. Look at that. There's no fret at all on this. How much was it? <laughs> How much was it? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Ten million dollars. Yeah. Wow. This is, this is yeah, amazing. Brody. Brody, no Christmas presents for you this year. That, that's that's <laughs> how much that was. Wow, this is amazing. Let's can you can you hold it up? Let's see I can do a lot more. <laughs> I love the hot pink though. That's that's sick. 
Oh my god. Great guitar. The action looks pretty that? good. The thing is in great condition. It's amazing. Like I don't think this has ever been played. This is a 1989, right, Dave? Yeah, first year. There's no wear on this. This is amazing. Yeah, it was a closet queen. It, it's you know he he bought he bought all these guitars. See, he has the original three gems. The he has the pink, the yellow, and the green. All originally bought them at the same time. He plays the pink one, the green one, and the yellow one are pristine. Then he buys, you know, he bought a bunch of Paul Gilberts. He bought that one, the first generation of the white one, uh, and then the red one with the with the with the f holes on it as well. And he plays the white one, but the rest of them are pristine. So he, you know, he he'll play one of each of the guitars, and the rest of them go under the bed. Wow. Oh, this is amazing, Jay. I don't know what to say. You know, I I never I never get jealous of of what other people have. That's just not in me. But I'm I'm like really excited for you, but I'm also like borderline kicking myself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! So I was saying to Jay, because all my guitars are tuned differently, because I'm lazy and I want to retune them, so I just keep <laughs> buying different guitars. So this will probably be my standard <laughs> guitar or drop A. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> you do what you want to do. It's your guitar. Use it in good health. Oh, this is amazing. Now, how would you say the? Uh, I know it's a. It's going to be a wider neck because it's a six over the universe. But as far as like thin, how, how thin it is in the back, is it kind of the same? Same, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's a wizard neck. It's going to be the thinnest of all the necks. Yeah, it's definitely. It feels exactly the same as the universe. Oh, man. And shark twos. Oh. Is, is that 24 frets too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that's the one thing that I'm... Well, the RG series, you know, the which is what that body shape is. Mm -hmm. the, all of them are twenty-four frets. You can't get it in twenty-two frets. Mm -hmm. The uh, the Satriani is twenty-two frets. The Radius guitars are twenty-two frets, but the the RGs are all twenty-four. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Oh. There it is. It's a Steinberger, <laughs> and Dave, something just ran by behind you. I don't know if did you guys see that. Was it no. the beard that was at your dad's house last week? <laughs> I was too busy cleaning the drool off of. No, I think I think uh, I think oh. Desiree's home from food shop. Uh -huh. Well, Brian, if uh, next year if you want to sell it, <laughs> let me know. I got you. Oh. In a couple of days, you'll see one, Jay. He'll he'll send you one. He'll he'll find one on eBay for you and send it. Well, it, it's funny because I've I, a couple weeks ago, Dave, I, when you were talking to me about that guitar, um, I think I was drawing on my on the door downstairs. I don't know if you guys hear that. Yeah, yeah. I think she's drawing on the door. Um, I was looking on eBay and stuff, and I saw a couple of them, maybe one or two, that were a couple hundred bucks cheaper, but they were in like really, really played condition. You know, mm -hmm. like the, the Ibanez on the headstock was kind of like worn off, mm -hmm. um, you know, like belt uh, buckle scratches on the back. The pickups are really faded. And when um when I was telling Brian about that guitar initially, he was like, well, what kind of condition it's in? I'm like, well, this is before we had the pictures and everything. And I was like, well, according to Dave, I mean, it's I mean, it's it's in pr pretty damn good condition. And um, I mean, that thing looks great, man. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, I need everyone to know that I, you know, I'm full of crap most of the time. But when it comes to guitars, I'm pretty not, pretty much not full of crap. So if there's anything anyone wants out there and needs wants to find like the best version of it, just ask me to do it for you because that's what I do. I I find the best versions of every guitar. It just happens. I have that good luck. You should have your own show. Like I have luck like that. that. Right? Yeah. The guy that goes around for toys like like old school Voltrons. That'll be yeah. you for guitars. Yeah. That'd actually be pretty cool. I might I might actually tune into that. Definitely. <laughs> Good old night, Bob. Man. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. Round of applause.
Brian, you have a new guitar, man, and it is awesome. It's amazing. Like, Jay, it hasn't been touched. Stop like, it. There's Stop. no fretware on this at all. You're killing me. <laughs> Jay, it's your fault because I, I went to you first. I know, I know. And if, if I could do it, if I could have done it right now, it would have been a no-brainer. Jeannie was actually, she's like, just, just get it. I'm like, we really, you know, I don't want to talk about you know that type of stuff on here but i was like but don't don't you know don't feel don't feel bad there are plenty of guitars out there that one just happens to be a real clean one yeah i know nope jay there isn't many guitars out there just this one <laughs> yeah, just that one <laughs> yeah because brian was like why do you like it so much just asking me you know out of i guess curiosity like what is it about it i'm like i just remember like in one of the old whether if it was guitar for the practicing musician or guitar world, there was a picture. He's here. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> Christmas colors. <laughs> But there was a picture of, um, I don't know if it was a band shot with him holding that guitar or whether it was an Ibanez ad or a DiMarzio ad, I forget. But I just remember a picture of him standing there with that guitar. He had the long straight hair back then. And I just remember like, just I'm like, man, that guitar is so cool. I think it was an ad. I remember that too. Yeah. I remember it, that too. It probably was. And thinking that was my favorite guitar of the ones that he played you the know. colors are definitely great you know i actually i love the pink i love the the, the blue and the pink I, I guess they call that jewel blue jewel blue yes uh but i think i would prefer it with white pickups and white knobs over the pink yep Ugh. and white i just yeah blue blue jewel blue with white pickups and white knobs this pink is smoking, though. Imagine the, uh, uh, the inlays. inlays. Uh oh, Brian, oh, Brian you're, you're echoing. echoing. Now batting. Now batting. Oh. Um, um, how do we fix this? We fix this? Can, you, Can you? You're going to have to leave and come, come back. You know how to do that? Do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again. Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's good. Wait. I think we're good now. Oh, it's gone. Okay. How cool would it be if the if the shark tooth inlays were hot pink too, man? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, no. It's echoing bad now, right? Oh no, it's oh, no. now it's good. Mad Dog says I'm looking more like Meathead from All in a Family every day. I think he looks more like Edith every day. Uh, <laughs> Meathead, he, he's a good looking guy, man. As compared to what? Uh, I don't, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Mad, Mad Dog, you want to get on my bad side? Keep telling me I look like Meathead. Dude, Meathead, he's he's a successful. He's one of the top guys in Hollywood, man. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> Doesn't mean I want to look like him. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm trying to find a tweet. I don't know. Uh well, hey, Brian, congrats on that guitar, man. That's that's Thank very you. cool. Very, very oh. cool. It's pretty sweet. I can tell by the look on your face you're liking it. I love it. <laughs> I just, the neck is amazing, though. It definitely feels just like the um, universe. But the best thing about the universe is because it is seven string and the, you know, the neck is thicker or wider, wider, wider but yeah. the neck is just amazing. Yeah, Ivan has knew what they were doing, back, what then, they were doing back there. Uh oh, echo. Uh -oh. <laughs> echo. 
Uh, that was you, Jay. You were no, echoing. No, no, no. You were echoing so hard right there. Can you can you can close you, it and come back in? Come back in. Why is it me? Why isn't it you? Because <laughs> it's, 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 it's coming from you. Coming from you. Jesus. It's just a boner on the bottom. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Try turning right. your volume turn down. down. Turn your volume all the way down and then back up a little bit. Uh, how's that? Testing. Testing. Nope. Still echo. Oh, still echo. No. Uh, I'll sound, get out and I'll come back. We sound, we sound like stormtroopers. We sound like stormtroopers. <laughs> Those aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> oh, oh did you see his avatar? Did you? <laughs> did you see that? Oh wow. Mm -hmm. let's, let's hope he can get back in. Actually, let's hope not. I don't want to see that guitar anymore. <laughs> That's my least favorite Ibanez. <laughs> no, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool guitar, man. You know what, though? I'm, I'm glad that somebody that I know and one of my close friends got it, as opposed to, you know, just some, some Joe Schmo. Right. So. Mm -hmm. So, hey, chat. How are you guys doing, man? Some Dave dude is in here. Blackie DH. Fender Guru, Jason Wade. Hey, dude. Eighty people still watching. There he is. Jessica Richardson's in here. That's Janie's friend. Oh, cool. Hey, Jessica. Did we meet her? Yeah, that's the one who um had on yeah. the EVH pants. We met. We, yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I remember you. I think she's actually going to buy the board shorts as well. The what? The board shorts. The EVH What's a board, board shorts? The swimming trunks. Oh. The EVH mm -hmm. board shorts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really quick, <laughs> speaking of all that, I've got the uh, Steve Anderson. You guys remember sent me the, uh, the camouflage, uh, as we find out, women's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Jay, I know you, I think you saw this, um, uh, Van Halen store has been advertising this jacket and I, I posted a picture of myself, you know, saying I wear this jacket all the time, which is the truth. Well, on these videos, you guys see me all the time wearing this thing. Yeah. And I'm just going to say, even though it's a women's jacket, I mean, if, if you're my size, it fits, it'll fit anybody. Oh, a woman's wearing it. It's all right. It should be a unisex. Mm -hmm. Take off your pants and jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. Wow, <laughs> that is an album title. So, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <laughs> but no, I I I endorse this jacket, you guys. If any of you guys, you know, if you dig it, you guys, you know, even though I'm three foot, you know, four, fits fine. <laughs> the heck is uh, going on my phone is going nuts speaking of steve anderson have, have you heard anything no yeah yeah he doesn't like you guys <laughs> i don't know we have not seen him so i don't know about a late show until we uh we hear back you know until we find him i don't know Somebody was asking late show and uh who knows? Who knows? We'll see what's going on a little later. Dave, didn't you say you have some new items to share? Oh, I have um on my fifty one fifty guitar. Press is dropping everywhere. Brian, Brian, Brian Davies, man. You know when when you're uh, when when you're in rock and roll, when you're in bands, you know, you'd be surprised. A lot of musicians do wear women's clothing, you know, on stage, you know, because it, it it looks cool. Um, and so I'll I'll admit I've worn women's pants and and well I can't say it in that order, jackets and and pants, you know. Over the years on stage in many different bands. 
And where do you purchase these items? Um, uh, H and M. H and M. Uh, I've seen guys wear girl pants. Yeah, me too. We were actually on the road with a band that I'm not going to say who it is. Brian knows. I've already told him this story. Don't say who it is. Not that it matters. They'll probably admit it anyway. But when we all went, we stopped off at a mall and we went into, you know, the same store. Next thing you know, I'm looking over. I'm like, these dudes are on the girl section looking at pants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's. It's it's very common, you guys. It's very it's very it's very common to Too common to play in a rock band and to wear, you know, women's jackets and pants, and that's and that's it. Did you say toot in common? <laughs> I did. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think like most in the eighties, a lot of women's clothing being rocked by men. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, just just look at the you know. Po the first Poison album cover. I mean, you know? Yeah. It took me a while. Like When I was like nine, eight years old, I thought he was gorgeous. <laughs> Real talk. He, he was, man. <laughs> Good looking chick, yeah. 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 Then once I realized he was a man, my dad had a talk with me. So yeah, was, uh, he's a good looking. He's a good-looking chick until you get to the 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 uh, belt line. Okay. Until until you realize she's six six. <laughs> Within Adam's apple. <laughs> sure. In his, in his pants. <laughs> uh, wow, Adam's apple in his pants. That's amazing. Brian, you saw these, right? You saw the Brendan Butt Cheeks pick? I love it. Yeah. Yep. Oh. How thick are those picks? Um, they're probably probably Jay. 60, right? Jay. Jay, look at this, man. There you go. Look at that. You're going to open that tonight? I'll, I'll do it right now. Here it is. Here we go. Doing it now. I'm thinking that's what this is. I just I just got this the other. Uh... There we go. There it is. Right there. Thank you for the pics, man. Merry Christmas, Brendan Budgie. <laughs> is Brent, I think Brendan's still in here, right? Yeah. Oh, I think so. They're both sides. Yeah. yeah. Both sides um, are the same. <laughs> at least I did butt cheeks. <laughs> well, you got two butt cheeks, right? You might as well have on both sides of the pick. <laughs> what about what about these, Jay? No, I can't. I don't know how you you work with those baby picks. Johnny, oh, Dave, you know you know these jazz yeah. three. Sure, yeah, he yeah. doesn't know about them. Yeah. Yeah, right. these are great. They they they're very good. They're very easy to use. They're awesome. My uh, my guitar teacher got me into them, so now uh, I use them all the time. They're amazing. But Jay is right. Like for like palm muting or chugging, it's they're not the best. But for moving quick, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they slide right off when you're playing fast stuff. Yeah. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, which I don't probably nobody does, um, Brian. Um, was taking lessons and actually befriended um, Ollie from All That Remains. That's who uh, he was taking lessons for. Or from, sorry. Yeah, you were giving Ollie lessons. Yeah. <laughs> right. He passed away. So. Wow. Yep. wow. He did. Man, I'm, 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 yeah, I, w w that was like what, like a month ago? No, uh, yeah, mid October or so. Man. And, uh, the crazy thing, like throughout this um, the year, whenever you guys would be on, when he was here on a Friday, we would watch, and Jay would say, "Hey, Brian and Ollie from All That Remains is on," you know, watching it, and he thought you guys were hilarious. But um, real, real good dude, real, real good guy, like a gentle soul. And uh, he passed away on a Tuesday. He was supposed to come over the following day for a lesson. So uh, I texted him Tuesday night. I'm like, all right, make sure you're here at six for dinner. And then uh, I didn't hear from him. So the next morning I was about to text him and I'm with a client and I was about to say, yo, you know, profane word. Uh, <laughs> you, need, you need to get here. You know, uh, what time are you going to be here? So right before I sent it, Jay sent me a text and uh, OJ from Byzantine. They're like, is this true? And then uh, all the remains 
posted uh, that Ali had passed. So um, yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was a it was a rough day. It's horrible, man. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, man. Yeah, but it's 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 nuts what's going on with it. Uh, yeah, if, if you guys are bored, Google Ollie, check out all the remains and see what's going on. It's um, some crazy stuff. He was found in a pond. He's a grown man in mid October in the Northeast. He's not swimming, so. That's all I'll really say about that. Sucks. Um, oh, sorry for breaking the show down, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotta, no, no. Gotta go now. 87, <laughs> 87 people watching and we're all crying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everything, I mean, anybody that uh that I know that met him said he was super nice, super cool, down to earth guy. And like <laughs> and he was a great amazing <clears throat> so like I, i've said this to a bunch of people ollie is the best technical guitarist i have ever seen ever met he's just amazing um just phenomenal so like I, you know i've always said about jay and i said this earlier to dave jay is the best person i've i know in regards to like jay's got the best ear for music out of anyone i've ever met Jay's Stop amazing it. guitarist. Stop it. <laughs> but Ali was, you know, he knew 416 scales. The guy was writing a book. He's just a genius. You know, he was like the modern day Eddie Van Halen. It, it is funny how, um, <coughs> like, if whenever he would post something on social media, it was always guitar related and like technical stuff of like, he'd, he'd write about a scale or a mode or something. And then he would like, analyze it and try to look at it a different way and it was just i'm like i'm looking at it like i'm reading chinese and i'm like what the hell is this guy even talking about and it was just you know it, how many scales 416 it's a lot of weight yeah man yeah just amazing guy Plus, um, there, the, all the remains. He finished tracking his album, you know, all his, all his parts prior to him passing. New album's amazing. So, anyone check it out if you want to hear some some great riffs, some great leads, some good solos. Check it out. Ollie did a phenomenal job on this album. Yeah. Speaking of albums, uh, Jay Hannon, how we doing with that uh, new Gizmachi album? It's uh, it's coming along, man. I posted some stuff on Instagram. Oh, that that's what that was? Yeah. I, I saw that last night. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, had you heard uh listen to any Gizmachi? Johnny, um, no, that's that's too that's above Johnny's uh pay grade or whatever. <laughs> it's too heavy. No, no, I I I listen to everything. Um I I've only heard stuff that Jay has sent me. He sent me stuff uh, through messages and, and um, but that was very early on, early on, just to make make sure you realized that wasn't just some uh, like obsessed. Oh my God, Johnny Bean! I want to be on the show. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, that's pretty much how it went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bought an EVH guitar just to be on with you guys. That's that's how it went, <laughs> and then returned no. it. Yeah. Hey guys, if I buy a guitar, can I come on the show? <laughs> so there's no, one thing that I have to say about Jay, and I know Jay will never talk about himself. Um, Jay I'm is already Jay is super creative uh, guitarist. So if anyone's ever bored, check out Wandering Eyes by Gizmachi. There's a little part. Okay, it's not a little part. It's an awesome part. About what four minutes in. Um, Jay does something with the guitar I've never seen anyone do prior to meeting Jay. Uh, bridge bending. Um, he'll play a, a note and pull on the bridge to get an amazing, uh, it, it's sick. Um, so Jay, I know you're my friend and all, but it's definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen on a guitar. So I know you'll never say it. I'm saying it, it's amazing. Yeah, I try not to talk about myself too much on here. Yeah. <clears throat> cause, it, Cause it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can give a tutorial sometime on some bridge bending. Well, I, I showed you how to play it, right? Yeah, I can do it. 
Who's that in the background now? It's Delaney. Hi, Delaney. Hello. What's on your shirt? A puppy. You got a puppy on your shirt? Mm -hmm. Does the puppy have a name? What's the name of the puppy, honey? Uh, I don't know. Wrigley? Yes. But it doesn't look like Wrigley. <laughs> Brian, do you ever get nervous like when you're down there late at night and like your back is towards the staircase and after, especially after you watch like a horror movie or something? What was that? You know, <laughs> 50 times, what was that? <laughs> no, generally I'll be back upstairs. Cause I'm in the basement now. Brian, Brian do you, you, you know like, what it means when you scare daddy? Are you going to bed? I'm not. Delaney. Delaney. In five minutes, tiptoe down and scare daddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good night, honey. Yeah, I'm just going to be laying on the okay. couch and then when I fall asleep, nobody's going to go. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, while I'm here, I'd like to uh, show off a few of my guitars, if I may, at some point. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, that one has a couple things in it now. <laughs> while he's doing that, while he's doing that, I'll show this: the uh, string tree. The correct string tree for the 5150 guitar that Rob Johnson sent me. Whoa. What? Wow. That's what's on the original. That's cool. Do you have the other one laying in, uh, on the desk in front of you so you can show the difference? No, it's just a regular Fender style Strat, you know, one which is on the floor somewhere underneath the desk. Uh huh. <laughs> Back, bear. Whoa! Bear. This is my uh, my jazz master. It's my uh, signature Jim Root. This this guitar is my probably my favorite guitar to play right now. It's a uh, tuna drop B. Play a little Slipknot because um, I love heavy stuff. So that's how I go. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the low end instead mm -hmm. of the bright shiny high end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what kind of pickups are those? EMGs. But aren't they are they his signature model EMGs or? Yes. It's it's great. It's really nice, fun to play. I was never a big Fender fan till now. Now I just I want to get another one. Maybe a Strat or a Tele. But the Jazz Master, this is it's fun. And just with the one volume, hell yeah! <laughs> That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no switch. Yeah, oh, it's down just there. Tone knob, yeah. Oh, it's down yeah. there. Oh, okay, okay, I see. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I I love Fender guitars, man. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um. Yeah, that one is nice. I actually, I uh, I held that one and touched it for a couple minutes. I know, and I got it. <laughs> the guitar? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> that thing, that thing feels well built, you know, and it just, it, it just, it looks great. Obviously, that matte black finish with those, uh, what would that be called? The pickups, um, brushed nickel, right? I think, yeah. or brushed chrome. Yeah. A great looking mm -hmm. guitar. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Great. What else you got? What else I got? <laughs> it's my Indonesian Ibanez RG. Um, this one is tuned to drop A for Dave's pleasure. Again, <laughs> um, I have phone cables on here. 
phone <laughs> cables. Is that what I really meant? What did I? Are we all alive? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brian, when how does the neck feel compared like those the, the two Ibanez guitars? Right. Like probably you... like a, like a bow. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot thicker. It's uh, not nearly as nice. Um, it's a it's a really nice guitar, but it's I don't know. It doesn't have that that amazing like when I'm holding the universe or the new the PG the uh -huh. PG thirteen the Paul Gilbert. <laughs> it's like the neck is making love to my hand. Not this so much. It's more of like over the pants type of rub. It's not really the nice. <laughs> but uh, but the universe that neck is just full fledged amazingness mm -hmm. you know i can get a lot more descriptive but it's a family show so i don't really want to uh -huh. so, well, well, not yeah. anymore it's not <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this um this is fun so again every guitar i have is all all tuned differently um so this is drop a so some of the stuff i play like seven dust or um you know slipknot um some real heavy stuff i'll go with this it's fun it's a nice guitar it's not amazing but it does the job mm -hmm. what's your hall and oats guitar hall and oats yeah man eater guitar yeah you're like um, or your michael jackson guitar you know right. something mainstream uh -huh. what, what are you, what are you eating arms over there cinnamon toast crunch lucky charms what do you got Golden grams. Go! Oh, oh, you got to oh. eat them fast. They get soggy, man. Yeah. Thumbnail. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> what do we have here now? This is um, my purple majesty right here. It's a uh, seven string. Oh, that's the, um, uh, what do they call that? The Dracula's kiss or something. Was that the color of that? I, I don't know. That's really descriptive. I thought it was like purple. Purple. Looks red to me. Purplish. Let's go nurple. It's, <laughs> uh, it's nice. Uh, this is my first seven string that I had. Um, it's it's nice. It's not the universe. It's amazing how different it feels from the universe. Mm -hmm. Like the neck is nice, you know, for a seven string. How the it's wider. It's it's thinner, but it's not like the uh, universe. Um, it's a real nice guitar. This is tuned to. Uh, I play little Gizmachi on this, or Trivium, or um, you know, some I can go Meshuga, like mid nineties, late nineties Meshuga. But um, this is, again, depending on what I'm playing or what I'm in the mood to play, this is what it is. Hmm. It is funny, though. Like, once you, like, <laughs> once you get one of those guitars that are just out of this world, when you play one of your other ones, you're like, oh, man. Whoa. It, it, it's nuts. <laughs> it's amazing think how of. different they are and how they feel. Mm -hmm. Johnny, you ever play any seven strings? Yeah, actually, I used to own. Um, don't laugh. I, I used to own uh, a Fender. Was it the Stage Master Squire? And it, and it was a seven string. Really? Mm -hmm. How was it? It would. <laughs> you don't say. I'm listening to the chewing. Um, <laughs> well, it's getting less audible because it's getting soggier. It's getting, you know? yeah, yeah. Golden grams, you got to eat quick. Yeah, you got to eat it as the milk's being poured on it. You got to start shoveling it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> um, you got 80 people watching that, dude. Yeah. Do I care? <laughs> no. Obviously not. James. James, cares. James, thank you so much, man. Great show tonight. I'd like to share my guitar collection at some 
and some other goodies on the show sometime. James, definitely, man. Maybe you can eat some cereal on the show, too. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, James, send me a uh, a message on either Instagram or, or Twitter or somewhere. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, man. Uh... But no, the seven string that I had, it it was uh, it was yeah, Fender Squire Stage Master is what I want to say it was. It was like a, a purple uh, like sparkle, pretty cool looking guitar. Um, it was seven string, but it was twenty four frets, and I just I for some reason I just I can't play twenty four frets. Um, I don't know. Is it How just is it a happening? visual thing? Like, like when you look down and you're, everything looks like, um, <coughs> if you're used to 22 and then you go to a 24. It's not visual. It's not visually. It's the way it feels. It just feels like, like a regular guitar. Here's a regular guitar. If I play a, a 24 fret, it's like, it's wider hmm. or longer. Is that true? Yeah. It's a little longer. Yeah. Something about that. How was the neck? How thick was it? Like, was it tough um, to or was it? No. Nah. Oh, actually, actually, yeah, it was. It was really thick. Now that I think about it, yeah. And the action was super high. No. 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 Action was fine. Surprised. Um, I might have a picture of it somewhere. Although I, I know they still. Uh, what's John saying? Uh, <laughs> something about something. Um, I know I can, I can find a picture of the guitar online and you guys can see it. He said, don't get me started on this again. No, it's not longer. It's a 25 and a half inch scale, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> fretboard has extra frets and goes closer to the front pickup. <laughs> right. Jay, tell Bo Zikor who our guest is. Cause he, he just got here. Bo I don't know. Some guy that sent me 50 bucks and said, Hey, can we pretend we're friends and can I come on the show? Sure. So I told Johnny and Dave that you know me and <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's funny. That's how you began on the show. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I. That's yeah. That's how we all got here. <clears throat> no, Brian. Brian's one of my closest friends, um, and he just got. Hello, John, my name is Johnny Bean, and I'm talking to somebody on the phone, and I don't want anybody to hear it. Pick up milk in the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, Brian just got the PGM 100 Ibanez Paul Gilbert model, the original, the 89. Do you have it right next to you again? I can go grab it. I'm yeah. also known affectionately on the group chat is Man Erections Jams. So um, <laughs> that is me. Yes, everybody that's boner that you're talking to. Oh, okay, here's a pit. This is the same guitar that I had. It looked like that. Looks exactly like this. Nice. It's actually a good looking guitar. That's nothing how I envisioned that guitar to be. <coughs> Can you play uh, show that again, Johnny? Oh, there it is. I'm not a big fan of the headstock. Like what's the reverse not... squire? Reverse? Yeah, I don't I don't like reverse headstocks either. I like Ibanez reverse headstocks, but not Fenders. I, like, uh, in my humble opinion, I think Ibanez had like this headstock is. It's the bee's knees. Yeah. I don't know oh, that look that that uh, that truss rod cover still has the plastic on it. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah, uh, Bo Zeke, this is for you. Literally, he's gonna send it to you. Have has have you guys ever played an eight string? No. Yes, I, I think I have. That is the sloppiest thing ever. Yeah. You play one, Jay. I better know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what to do with it. 
like the Schechter Omen. The thing I, I, I hate about those, you can't play chords. It's just so low and sloppy. It just you can't do anything with it. Yeah. The guitar player from Allegiant, they uh, they use eight string guitars. And when I when I met them at um the Summer Slaughter tour in July, um Michael, who we had on the show that you know, Michael and Greg, but Michael had a Kiesel eight string. And when I was asking him about Kiesel guitars, he's like, dude, come outside, you can play mine. I'm like, let's you know, <laughs> I go outside and hook up his rig, you know, but I was like, I'll just hold it for a second just to feel it, you know. And the 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 fretboard on that eight string guitar, it was like a goalie's leg pad. I mean, it was just so th so wide. <laughs> and with a seven string, like even when I was younger and the first time I played a seven string, it wasn't something that you couldn't wrap your brain around. It it felt a little awkward at first, um, especially when you're trying to play like a six string song, like a normal song, right? And without playing the low B string, and sometimes you're like it gets in the way or whatever. But it was a little. It takes a little, a little while, a little time to get used to. But the A string was just like, what the hell? Where do I even start on this thing? It just felt completely alien. Yeah. Like you and I have talked a million times about Mashuga and how mm -hmm. we think they should go back to a seven string. Oh yeah. But um, because now everything they do is slower, mid tempo stuff. And single note riffs just right. all over the place. And yeah, because you can't you can't play a chord. You can't do much with it. Yep. <laughs> Where'd Johnny go? So what else, what other guitars do you want to show off? Um on this one. Just that. Just that's yeah, that's <laughs> the one I want to see. Hey, did you write Paul Gilbert on there or did I what? that's that's his real signature. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites as well. My, you know, the uh, my universe. Yeah. Oh, it this says universe on the headstock. Look at that. Yeah. yeah, unlike mine. Jay, get yours out. Let's just rub them together. Um, Jay's is a uh, is a replica of that one. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, this is a tune two a. Um, this is my guitar from playing, you know, old corn, like first, second album corn. Um, it's just, it's amazing. Like this is, the neck is, is so thin. It's definitely the same, you know, almost the same as the uh, Paul Gilbert. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it feels amazing. But the Paul Gilbert, this guitar has never been touched. Jay, I don't think I told you yet. Like there's no wear on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah. How you feel now, Jay? Uh, you know what? I feel good. At least, at least Brian got it, and not somebody that I don't, you know. At least it's in good hands. Well, it's it's in the family, so which is great. That's true. Oh. And God forbid something happens to you. Don't worry, I'll put you in my will. I got that's you. Right. That's his way of uh, nothing. Yeah. Uh. Nice. Absolute mayhem with gent. Jay, what would you what would what would you call Kismachi? It's definitely not gent. What would you I don't even know what that means. Gent? I don't know either. Oh, no, you mean Gizmachi? Yeah, I don't know what Gizmachi means either. Um, I don't know. I just no, that's not what I meant. No, no, gent is like um, <clears throat> palm muting heavy eight string guitars or even tuned down seven string. Um, Meshuggah's gent. Um, Twelve foot ninja, I would say, two degrees gent. It's just there's a four thousand subgenres of metal. It's metal. Yeah, no, it's it's too, there's too many. Thrash Metal says we are. Uh, he would put Gizmachi in the category of polyrhythmic metal. I that's actually really. I agree. If anyone ever heard the People Show, that rhythm is insane. Seven eight man. Well, one of them is seven eight. Then there's five four is the next one. I'm telling you, man. 
people don't realize when you hear music like that, like we were able to put different time signatures one after the other without it sounding like, um, you know, some bands that play that type of stuff with like odd time signatures back and forth. Sometimes it can sound forced. And uh, I don't know, I always felt like we were, we had a knack for writing that type of stuff um, and making it sound seamless. You know, think of going from seven, eight to five, four. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. So, but whatever. Enough about me. What's wrong with that guitar more? I don't know. I'll, I'll plug this in later. Yeah, man. You got to send me a video. I will. I'll have it plugged in. Uh, Dave, are there? It's PAF Pros in that? Is that correct? Yes. PA, uh, PAF Pro. Hmm. Hang on a second. I got to think about that. No. There's a PAF Pro in the neck. And I think the uh, bridge is a uh, tone zone. I think. That was his pickup. Wasn't the tone zone his pickup? Um, I And the single coil in the middle of the gem pickup, gem single coil. Trying to respond wow. in the chat. Jay, do you remember Jim McMahon? That's what I'm responding to. I said, of course. <laughs> I, I lived in Illinois. I might as well delete it now and just say it. But I lived in Illinois when they uh, won the Super Bowl in 85. So was I. 86. And Brian is from Illinois, too. Look at that. <laughs> Breaking news. Brian is from Illinois. <laughs> hmm. But Jay's a New York Met fan, not a Cub. Yeah, I'm everything Chicago except for baseball for some weird reason. Well, actually, I do know why. But I don't want to get into it on here. It's it's stupid. <coughs> John BL, do me a favor. Look up the pickups on that guitar for a first generation 1989 Paul Gilbert. Please. Do it now. Do it now and forget about it later. <laughs> and I have a couple of guitars that I'm going to be selling, but I, I, I don't have them here. I have a few in my office. One, which is pretty cool, I think I showed you, Jay. You see it with the, um, with the drop tuner. Mm -hmm. But so a couple of them I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of. Well, let, you know, like I said, take pictures and uh, you can always show pe uh, I can show people on here and see if anybody wants to uh, you know, buy them. Yeah, it's like people are like, man, you have so many guitars. You must be amazing. No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Like man, you must really. I love music. I'm just not that great. Um, yeah. Thanks, Brody. My son thinks I'm good guitarist. How much did you pay him to say that? Just bought some Fortnite skins for him. So, <laughs> Brody, if I get another uh, bulk message from you on PlayStation, I got one the other day. Oh, probably a couple weeks ago. All of a sudden, message on PlayStation pops up, and it's. Brody telling me and 84 other people that he got some legendary skin or something. And I'm like, <sighs> how do you know it wasn't me? So the, so the pickups on that guitar, the bridge pickup is a DiMarzio PAF Pro. The middle pickup is an FS1. There's Ooh. some stockings being hung by your guitars with care. And the, <laughs> yes. And the uh, neck pickup is a PAF Pro. Hmm. Okay, what was that again? One more time, please. PAF Pro in the bridge and neck and an FS1 in the middle. What's the purpose of that? Why would you have an FS1 in the middle? Why wouldn't you do all of them? The same. Well, FS1 in the middle is a single coil. Hmm. That's true. So what are the characteristics of the PAF Pro compared to... What's in what's in your gem, Dave? Huh? What what pickups are in your gem? Same. P two PAF pros, but a gem oh. single coil in the middle. Okay. 
Uh, Ari Van DeLeo asks, what is the black and white guitar on the wall? It's a uh, custom Ibanez that belonged to Larry Mitchell. Uh, he's a, one of my best friends, and he gave that back. He gave that to me in, like, 1998. It was his main guitar since 1991, been around the world several times. Uh, it, it was uh, swirled by Ibanez. Actually, swirled by by Darren Johansson from About Time Designs, who did it for all of Steve Vai's guitars uh, at Ibanez. I'm going to pull up a, a picture of uh, Larry Mitchell's second album, because I believe that's the... <laughs> yeah, that's the front cover, yeah. Yeah, that's the cover. <coughs> Basically, what it is, it's a Joe Satriani body with a uh, wizard neck. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everybody, uh, leave a thumbs up if you uh, have found any of this entertaining at all. Or all of it. Mm -hmm. or none of it if this, <laughs> if this show just sucks leave a thumbs up let us know if you like awesome. brian's new guitar give a thumbs up if you don't like brian's new guitar give a thumbs up yeah and if you don't like brian give it a thumbs up <laughs> if you like uh what are they again um what cereal was he golden grams Gold, oh golden Gra i like golden grams golden grams are amazing yeah. Go, I, you know, I have to eat golden grams because they're low in phosphorus and low in potassium. Here it is. But they're high in deliciousness. Yes. Yeah, very high in deliciousness. And high in absorbency as well because they just suck up that milk. You got to eat so them fast. Mind, Body, Soul, Larry Mitchell's second release. And there is that guitar that is on Dave's wall as we speak. Just don't, look, just don't look below the guitar on the left leg. Oh my goodness! I just looked at it. <laughs> Is that <laughs> never mind? That's real. Um, <laughs> he's like, take it now, take it now. <laughs> and if you look, look at look at the guitar behind me, right? See the see the guitar pick. I've uh -huh. always put now. This is since his first record, um, but he all he when I saw Larry Mitchell put his guitar picks. In his headstock like that, in the in the, in between the strings, I've done that ever since he did. Ever since I saw that. So. Wow, man, that that's that's so cool, so cool that you've been you've been such a fan of his for so many years, and now you know you know him. Yep. You know? Yeah, 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 it's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in yeah. his live stream. Well, not in it, but I was in the <laughs> chat on his live stream on Tuesday night, and uh, you know. He was mentioning me and going back and forth, so that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you guys, Larry, Larry Mitchell. Oh, Ben, you beat me to it. Ben, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Larry is awesome. He is. Oh, all right, I guess he's <laughs> he's leaving. <laughs> um. Oh. oh, he's got another one of them. Oh, you have two of those? <laughs> two. I went from zero to two in one night. No, I just, I just feel like holding it. Take it to bed with me tonight. Now, Dave, yes. what is, what does Brian need with that guitar? Absolutely nothing. No, 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 no. I know what he needs. What does he need, Johnny? Can I say? Oh, he yeah. needs this. Can Hang I on. say? He needs this. Blue and pink. Okay. Okay, but I was gonna say he needs a pink Demarzio, Demarzio strap clip lock guitar yeah. strap. I need that pink scarf that John was wearing last week. That too. <laughs> that would really go with it well. Well, I think I'm gonna have to. Um, Santa might have to deliver a pink Demarzio clip lock. <laughs> Yeah. Let me, let me have a chat with the with the head honcho, the big kahuna, Santa himself. And see Santa if he can herself? <laughs> see if he can fit one in his uh in his sack. 
Speaking of cereals, I want to have one now. Yeah, dude. Waffle Crisp, going back old school. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember Waffle Crisp cereal? No, I never, I never ate that. I, I recognize the name. Yeah, it leaves a film in your mouth. Yeah. What, is it eight millimeter? <laughs> <Whoa>. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the funny thing about Waffle Crisp is? You don't even have to look for it when you're walking down the cereal aisle. You could smell it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely pork. Yeah. I don't even yeah. know if they make it anymore, do they? They do. Oh, you're going to have to send me some because I can't find it down here. It's crazy. But the best is during the Halloween season, you have the Holy Triumvirate with Frankenberry, Count Chocula, Blueberry. That's where it's at. Which one's the strawberry one? Frankenberry. That one tastes like perfume. <laughs> it's delicious. It's not. It is. It's great. It's not. It's not. Yeah, Jeannie, I can smell everything. I know. <laughs> you, you guys, my favorite cereal of all time, which they don't make anymore, and this is going back to 1984. Can I guess? Or whatever. You can guess. Special K. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mr. T cereal. In the chat. Huh? See if anybody in the chat room can guess what cereal John what cereal used to be Johnny's favorite. What what's my favorite? John. <laughs> Dude. Hey, John BL. What what's Johnny's favorite cereal? <laughs> hey, wait, John's telling me. What's John, what's my favorite cereal? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, John tell Jay. Jay tell me. Uh, it'll end up being the, the uh pur purple monkey dishwasher, mm. you know. Cookie Crisp. Grape nuts. Good call, Ben Coombs. I like Cookie Crisps. Yeah. Love some Is crisps. it based off of a movie? Oh, Johnny's gone. Me? Oh, yeah. no, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. Is it based off a TV show or a movie? It is. Oh, okay. So that... Predator cereal? <laughs> John got it. That's it. C-3PO's. C-3PO's. Really? You guys remember that? No. Yes. That stuff was so good. It was similar to uh to honeycomb. Yeah. Sort of, if you guys like honeycomb, but better. Yeah, grape well, nuts. I'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> grape nuts, yeah, that stuff was good too, but yeah. Yeah, ouch. Mr. T cereal. <laughs> that is B A. <laughs> Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> Cocoa. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles is better than Cocoa Pebbles, though. Yeah, this this was this was the stuff right here, right here. Yeah, stuff was so good. Now, does that say it says free Star Wars mask? Does it say with proof of purchase? Uh, on the back. It was on the back. You see, uh, you see how they uh, actually used to put cool things on cereal boxes back then. Now it's like anything that that is neat, you got to send away for. It was, it was on, it, it, yeah. Was it was it was on the back, and you would cut it out. It was on the back. Look at that. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> That's strange. Johnny, I got you know you just the longer I know you, the stranger you are. <laughs> uh huh. Look at this one. This one has a dog on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Delaney, what's your favorite cereal? Uh, the Halloween. Yeah, that's my girl, the Halloween kind. Frankenberry? Count Chocula? Frankenberry? Yeah, say it loud. Let them hear you. Frank Today's Frankenberry Friday. 
Yeah, Frank. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is Frank and Barry Friday. Hey, GT. There. <laughs> Dave. Dave, look at this. Is this real? When was that? Dunkin' Donuts cereals. I remember that. When was when was that? Well, look at that guy. Is this is that from the seventies? Yeah, the donuts. That's the that's 80s. the donut guy. Yeah, that's the yeah. trying to make the donuts guy. <laughs> from the eighties. I made the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite fake cereal is Colon Blow. Colon Blow. Yeah, that was that was a skit on Saturday night Saturday Night Live, I think, right? Colon blow. <laughs> Johnny, look up colon blow and, and see if the box pops up on your uh <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna get a lot more than boxes popping up on when he... <laughs> Don't Phil do Hartman. it, Johnny. Phil Hartman did the commercial for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Phil Hartman. Yeah, yeah, th yeah. There he is. There he is, right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And just because for you Van Halen fans, Phil Hartman was the voice of uh, of Waldo in the Hot for Teacher music video. Was he? Not a lot of people know that. Yeah. Oh wow, man. Yeah, that was him. Wow. Colin That's Blow. a great video. It is. I think you used to give me the tingles and the jingles when I was little. <laughs> yeah, man. There you go. Wait, what? What's the cereal look like? Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, little rolled up assholes. <laughs> yeah, wood shaving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Straight wood shaving. <laughs> 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 little, little rolled up smashed assholes. Oh, okay. <laughs> looks like Johnny, that guitar behind it looks like it was made out of some colon blow. Oh. Speaking of colon blow, um, the Hot for Teacher video. The uh, I was always a huge fan of the intro, the double bass. Jay, is that that's part of the Oh wow? <laughs> is that part of the commercial? <laughs> I gotta see this. It's probably it's not on YouTube though, huh? It's Phil Hartman's voice and, and the way he, you know, when he would do stuff like that, like the serious sarcasm is just, he was great at that. Yeah. 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 Oh, every character he, he ever did. Um, I liked when he was on the Simpsons, you know, when he was, uh, who, who, he was, uh, which, which character was it? John Biel. John. John. <laughs> Tr Tr John, yeah, Troy McClure. That's right. Thank you, John. Yeah, Troy McClure from The Simpsons. You guys remember that? There you go, Ben. One of my favorite movies with Phil Hartman is House Guest. Sin uh, Sinbad. <laughs> that movie is awesome. I haven't heard a Sinbad reference in a long time. Yeah, whatever happened to him, man? Oh, I was. I I. Uh, I met him at a, a friend's uh, at a, a comedy club. A friend of mine actually performed on stage with him. Let's see if I can find a picture. The only time you ever hear about Sinbad is like he'll dispute the rumors that he's dead. And he's just like, no, I'm still here. That's, that's the only time you ever hear of Sinbad. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, it's in the Discord, John? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Oh yeah, okay. I'm I'm gonna have to find this picture of me and Sinbad and, and put it in the Discord. <laughs> My flat oh. ding. I'll do that. <laughs> Your flat ding a ling? Yeah. <laughs> it's not as uh I'm gonna shut up. I like that Dave's rowdy tonight. I like rowdy Dave. Rowdy Roddy Nesdal. Rowdy Roddy Nesdal. <laughs> I'll cut you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Now he's threatening people. Okay. I don't make threats. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
it. So are, are we? I know yes. I can't. I can't say it. I can't say it because. What good? I can't say that. You can't say good. No. Why? I don't know. Are we though? The opposite of bad. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hey. What? what? <laughs> well, we got to go because the echo's back. Yeah. All right, Brian. Great to meet you, man. Thank yeah. You. Awesome right? guitar. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Congrats guitar, on the guitar. Man. There it is. There, there it is, right there. Let's rub it smooth, so soft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I don't know. Are you gonna stay stay awake, Jay? Or uh, I don't know about tonight. Okay. What's that, John? What? <laughs> Oh, he says, thank you, Brian. There he is. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Awesome job tonight. Awesome. Very awesome. And uh, I made some notes. So, yeah, I'm going to post a picture of me and Sinbad over in the Discord. Oh, I thought you were going to say you made some notes for tonight's show. But we, never, we didn't uh, get to them. Yeah. No, Wandering Eyes, is it? Yes. Is song? Gizmachi. Check it out. If you're watching the video, you'll see Jay do a solo or a lead on a on, standing on a toilet. So that's that's one of my favorite parts of the video. Really? Yeah. Jay shakes his head. He's like, "Oh no, you're no." I'm. That's the truth. It was okay. my idea. I I made sure that I did that part standing <laughs> okay. uh, one we foot gotta, on the toilet. Is it in the Discord? We got to put that in the, in the Discord. Okay. Everyone, check out Gizmachi. Jay does some great stuff. Okay. I, I, Brian just came on to be my hype man tonight. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> the drummer does a good job. Jeannie's brother, Jay's brother-in-law, Jimmy, amazing drummer. Whole band's great. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Also, really quick, just to let you guys know this, not everybody, not everybody knows this stuff. Um, between yesterday and today, YouTube is deleting all spam accounts. So so if you if you look at, you know, YouTube channels and if they're if their subscribers are just like dropping, it's cuz YouTube is is deleting all that stuff. So, well could that be one of the reasons, Johnny, that there's no um there's not many people in the chat talking crap? <laughs> there's no weird <laughs> names popping up you know um it's possible it's possible Could be that or i'm here talking so i didn't have enough time to write ah, oh, that was you <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty pretty strange how when brian comes on the show all the you know <laughs> the childish ends uh -huh. <laughs> there's none of those yep. yeah oh there's two of them oh great okay <sighs> All right. So, yeah, just letting, just letting you guys know. All right. See you guys later. My, Michael Smith. Good to see you, man. All right. Jay, good to see you. David and Brian, have a good night, everybody. I'm not going to say goodbye. I'll just say johnnybean.com. Hey.